welcome to Collectibles and Comments. I am Mel and I am the host of this program where I talk about many of the things that I've collected. Today is, is, is October 10th, actually October 10th, 2015. Yesterday was October 9th and yesterday was the birthday of the great John Lennon and I thought this might be a good time for me to share many of the things I've collected about John Lennon because he was one of the founders of the Beatles. Actually, he was the founder of the Beatles and someone who I admired a great deal and followed his artistic career. And I've collected a lot of stuff, so I'm a great fan of his. So let's get right to it. And thank you for joining me here for Collectibles and Comments. So the first thing we wanna say is we know that he founded the Beatles, so this is my Beatles cap and I'm gonna put this on. Uh, pardon me for being rude, wearing this hat indoors. But you can see I have this guy right next to me. This was purchased at the Suncoast Motion Picture Company. This is by Applause. And this is a plush John Lennon and he's holding his Rickenbacker guitar with the replica signature on it. Hope you can see that. This was a great piece. There were actually four of these, but I could only really afford to get one. They all came with a little booklet and this one talked about the life of John Lennon and his legacy. And of course it had a picture of all of the other plush Beatle applause items. This actually came out in 1987. But yeah, I purchased this from the old Suncoast Motion Picture Company, which no longer exists. So this is a fun thing. Now these buttons on here did not come from Suncoast. I bought these in New York. I wanted to visit Central Park, specifically Strawberry Fields, and I wanted to see the mosaic that's dedicated to John Lennon that has the word imagine in it. And so when I went to see it, there was a guy who had a table and he was selling these buttons. This one says Strawberry Fields Forever. It has a picture of the Beatles and it says New York, NYC New York City uh, 2012. And this one is a picture of John Lennon on it, so I purchased these in New York. The other piece that I like, my collectible, is this is from NECA. This is from 2006, and this is uh, a, a figure of John Lennon, and this one is, is pretty neat. And they actually did a larger version of this one. My lovely wife bought me this one as a Christmas gift, it has some incredible detail on it. If you can see that, it really looks nice. You can actually see the pin in his pocket, the flaps on his boots. I mean, there's just some great detail on this figure. The other thing about this one too, is that it has a sound chip inside of it. So if you take the, this little piece out and you turn it on, uh, it has some of John Lennon's voice, John Lennon's voice recorded in it, and there's several phrases that he says. I don't regret the past, I was just trying to live for this moment. So, this holds a place of honor in my home. This is one something I really like. And I thought I'd share with you, this is my copy of John Lennon's two books. This is the Pimlico version where they put both of his books in one. Uh, in his own right and a Spaniard in the works. This one I really like because on the inside front cover there's a reproduction of the first book, the actual cover, and then the second book on the back cover on the inside they reproduce that one. So it's, it's nice to have examples of what it looked like, the, act, the covers of the books. So the last thing I'll share with you is that in the 80s I, act, I, I began to purchase the albums. This is the infamous uh, Unfinished Music number one, two versions, and this one was famous for the nude picture of John and Yoko on the cover. I'm not going to show it. Uh, it came in a brown sleeve. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so it came in a brown sleeve, and um, I did listen to this. <laughs> listen to it only once. It's a very interesting collection of sound. It's more of a mute, it's more of a sound collage and other kinds of things, but uh, this is uh, a very interesting. I also have, let me show you, 
I also have the 12 inch maxi single for Give Peace a Chance. This was pressed in Holland. And so this is the single. This one I, I played a lot and uh, I, I, I really like this one. I also have John Lennon Plastic Ono Band with the picture of John on the back. And the, the album cover, if you'll notice, the plastic is still on a lot of these. My older brother used to always tell me that album artwork was really nice and to preserve the albums, if you left the plastic on them, it kept them really nice. So some of these still have the plastic on them. And you can see, so you would know that this was a John Lennon album. They, act, they, they actually stuck a sticker on it that said John, John Lennon right there. But the, this is Plastic Ono Band, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band. This is Imagine, my copy of Imagine. Um, let's see, there's the back, so you can see what it looks like. Here's my copy of Mind Games still has the price tag on it. And there's the back. Uh, they weren't putting the lyrics in there yet. These are blank inside. At some point they started putting the lyrics on them. Oops, let's make sure these don't fall. Here's my copy of Walls and Bridges. This one I bought at Tower Records, still has the sticker on it. It's so interesting, all these stores don't exist anymore. Vinyl is coming back a little bit, but when you talk to young people, they do everything digital and they know CDs, but this whole notion of vinyl is, is, is something that's lost to them. So this is my copy of Walls and Bridges. Now this was something I played a lot. This is Shea Fish. This was the first compilation of many of his hits, and I really enjoyed this. This, as, as you get to this point, this is coming apart a little bit, but they actually did start putting the, the lyrics inside the, the sleeve. So this one has the lyrics on it. I don't know if I showed you the back of this, but it has some really neat album art. There's an artist interpretation of each of the different songs on the front. And of course, John took a break from music and when he came back he did Double, fa Double Fantasy. This is Double Fantasy. Uh, this is the back cover of Double Fantasy. And again, and when you get to this point, they were putting the lyrics there on the album. So you can see he had the lyrics to the songs here. And Double Fantasy was followed by Milk and Honey, so this is Milk and Honey, and there's the back of the album. This one actually opened up, and there's a lovely picture of John and Yoko inside, so here's a nice picture. And this was something that I didn't see a lot. This was an album called Heart Play, Unfinished Dialogue. I got this from Serenade Records for $4.99. Price is still on it. This is interesting. There's no music on here. This is John and Yoko talking about their life, their music. It doesn't even have the listing. What it came with was this insert, which is this paper here. And it actually tells you what the different sections of the album, what they're talking about and what they're, what they're covering. And so it has Yoko's signature on it. And the last line reads, John is funny, quick, and wise throughout the record. That's just John. He had so much to say, so much to share. He was genuinely concerned about the human race and believed that he will someday get there. Thank you, John, for a beautiful life together. Love, Yoko. So this is, this is very nice. And so that's it for the stuff I've collected on John Lennon. Thank you for joining me for this inaugural episode of Collectibles. And the way you can collect something that can remind you of all the lovely things that life has to offer.
John Lennon, thank you for all that you gave us, your creativity, your peace activism, and I'm sure all our love will go to him, wherever his spirit is. Thank you very much, and goodbye. See you next time.